Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. As we continue with This is America, Charlie Brown, the Peanut Special Miniseries, I'm going to go with Episode 7, which aired on April 19, 1989 on CBS, called The Smithsonian and the Presidency. It's a story where the Peanuts gang had visits the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., where they discuss three former United States presidents. It stars Aaron Chase as Charlie Brown, Brittany Fortin as Sally Brown, Erica Gale as Lucy Van Pelt, Brandon Stewart as Linus Van Pelt, Hakeem Abdul Sama as Franklin, Jason Mendelson as Pepper and Patty, Marie Cole as Marcy, Frank Welker as Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt, Hal Smith as John Muir, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Bill Melendez. The episode begins when the Peanuts gang had went on a trip to Washington, D.C., where they were exploring the Washington Monument, the White House, and even the Lincoln Memorial. Yeah. But then they went to a museum called the Smithsonian Institution where they saw all the paintings, yeah, including the, the one for President George Washington and his wife Martha. Yeah, when Sally thought that they were all being painted by numbers. But of course, <laughs> Linus had said to Sally that, that it actually was worth millions of dollars. Anyway, they also looked at airplanes of any kind, such as the one that was built by the Wright Brothers, as well as the World War I Flying Ace, this plane, with the Red Baron's plane, even the, the Spirit of St. Louis. They also show the event of the Apollo 10. And then they even went on for American history, just exploring everything that was happening such as the wagon trails, American flags, the presidents, comic strips, and a whole lot more. But when they get into the presidents though, that's where we start with Charlie Brown and Linus when they did an interview with the President of the United States himself, Abraham Lincoln, as they were working as newspaper boys for both Washington and Baltimore. It was about the Gettysburg Address, where he had to create a, an important speech where he had to work so hard trying to become more important and powerful instead of becoming a failure. This was at the time during the Civil War between the North and the South in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, with only 175,000 men who fought that day. It was the biggest blood and guts battle that lasted only three days. Most of the 20,000 men were killed. Another 35,000 were wounded. And for those, yeah, for those who have survived the event. But then a national cemetery was dedicated to the soldiers who died in Gettysburg on November of 1863. Amazingly, Lincoln's speech was considered to be one of the greatest speeches of all time ever told. Yeah, from the beginning to the middle to the end. Next, the Peanuts game had continued to go on to talk about some more presidents, and that's where they lead to Theodore Roosevelt, where he had a national conversation monument as he went on a private free day camping trip with John Muir along with two rangers and a cook to the Yosemite Valley exploring the wonderful nature sites on mountains and trees over the next seven years he promised Muir to protect 132 million acres of national forest lands he established 53 wildlife preserves 
16 natural monuments and 5 new national parks. He also signed a law that puts mere beloved Yosemite under federal protection. This was considered to be Roosevelt's guiding light with John Muir during those three days. And finally, Pepper and Patty, along with Franklin, Marcy, and even the rest of the game, were discussing on the Great Depression that happened after the stock market crash of 1929, where the United States had lost millions of dollars with workers out of a job and Americans were struggling to survive by paying a small amount of money of foods as well as foods, clothes, etc. And yes, they even had trouble paying the mortgage of their houses that they live in. So that alone became a nightmare until the earlier presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt, Theodore's cousin, had came to the rescue as a strong leadership for the United States and also he was in a wheelchair too. But his job was to help poor people out, fixing the economy and putting the country back in its place with new bridges, buildings, our NRA war supplies and many others. It truly became a new freedom for the country. Yeah, this was a very important episode that really shows how all three presidents have worked so hard to fix everything that's going on in the country. And they're trying to do what's best. Um, Abraham Lincoln's speech was the most memorable one of them all, you know, where he starts the the beginning of four scores and several years ago of founding founders as it continues then the middle part where they talk about um, how everyone had fight during the war now they're trying to and how men are created equally also at the end for the people by the people so on. Yeah, it was very powerful. I mean, even though he thought it was going to be a failure at first, because it wasn't really easy. But then, um, you know, Theodore Roosevelt did a great job, you know, doing everything he can as he promised for his friend John Muir, you know, during the three day camping trip. So everything just, things have changed, you know during those times. And then we had the, the strong leadership of Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was president for a decade. And he really had fixed everything that was happening you know, during the Great Depression. But interesting enough, they didn't do an animated version of Franklin D. Roosevelt. They only did an animated version of both Abraham Lincoln and Theodore Roosevelt, along with John Muir. So that was really surprising. So it's just showing archive footages of how it happened. All, showing all these photographs and everything that went into it that blends with the animation of all the characters. Also to note that on the Apollo 10 events that the Commander model and the Lunar model are nicknamed Snoopy and Charlie Brown by coincidence. So that was really interesting. Uh, there's also a sunny strip from October 4th, 1964, which that's where it features uh, Charlie Brown and Lucy, you know, pulling the, the football away from him just when he was ready to kick. Which is really interesting, too, because I never thought they would actually show that on a peanut special, yet alone the, this one, where it's like, you're seeing, you're seeing Pepper and Patty, Charlie Brown, and Lucy just spotting around, which was actually done by Charles M. Schultz himself, creating that particular comic. It's like they're just seeing themselves, <laughs> almost like, like, like they're breaking the fourth wall or something. 
And of course, um, they even show some shots from the previous episodes, uh, such as the Wright Brothers' plane from the Wright Brothers at Kitty Hawk, and the Heartless Carrots uh, from the Duliate Brothers, from the Great Inventors. So that was really neat that they put those in. All these other uh, museum uh, exhibits that they got, like you know, all the wild beasts and animals and everything that they show. So. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really something. But it's very well made, well done. Um, I even love the moments, you know, when Snoopy was dressed up as World War One flying ace, where he was just looking at, at the plane, that was supposed to be his, and, and then he saw the Were Baron's uh, plane, because <laughs> now you know how angry he is. After all, that was his nemesis. And it really works that uh, they did show Abraham Lincoln with his speech. Or you can see the, the Peanuts game at this rate, Pepper and Patty, Marcy, you know, just as he's looking at, at Lincoln uh, giving the speech. With everyone, even all the soldiers, gather around. That was definitely a memorable moment right there. And, and even the moments with uh, Theodore Roosevelt and John Muir talking about the conversation. All the camping out and looking at all these beautiful sights, perfect. And of course, the shots of of all the archive footages of Franklin D. Roosevelt. So, but anyway, it's a great special. Definitely worth it. So now I'm going to finally review the last episode of the Peanuts special miniseries with the music and heroes of America. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.